All right, so it's a pretty nice day out today. So I'm working here in the shop trying to get some stuff done. And today we're gonna be tackling some battery box and just chip away at our process here. So stick around and we'll get rolling. All right, so essentially what we have here is just the original battery hold down that uh, came in the crossfire. So we're gonna remount it to the rear of the vehicle and I'll show you how we're planning on doing this. All right, so this is our area of choice back here. This would be, I believe this was where the air pump was for the locks. So I threw down some hockey pucks I had lying around for spacers and our battery box will pretty much just slide in like, just like that. So next step is there's this little lip over here on this side with a bunch of bump outs that's pushing the pan just a little too far in since we don't have to worry about that because we have this wall here to keep the battery in place we can cut that off and save some room so I'm gonna grab the grinder and make a quick work of that and move on from there all right so step one Welding in the bar. It's clearly not going anywhere. So we got that zapped in. And now we cleared off a space to put a spacer for the other section of the basket. So as you can see, this piece will fit on that bar. Then we have this space for the bolt. And what I did to make up the bolt, spacer here, we just have the hole saw cut out. So that way there's a place for the bolt to go and there's a nut welded on the inside. So we're gonna bolt that to the cage here and give it a little tack inside there. And then we'll weld her in pretty decent. All right, so we got it all sectioned up in here. Perfect for the basket to go right on in. Gonna have to readjust that bolt hole over there. Yay for everything. So once we do that we'll throw down a little bit of primer. And we will be ready to bolt that in. All right, so that thing's all mounted up. Now we can just go grab a test battery and see how she fits. All right, well here's the battery that I froze in the Raider this winter. So it's full-fledged dead. All right. And there it is. And it fits in there pretty well. I think I'll flip the uh, 
battery around when I mount it. So that way I'll have a have the ground right off to the side, closest to that mount. And then back here in this open space, I'm probably gonna mount up the a battery kill setup. And probably mount the fuse box there too. I'll make things a lot nicer. Yeah, I'm liking it. Now all I gotta do is find the strap to that battery box that I've got laying around somewhere. Excellent. Alright, pretty much quick and to the point. We got the battery mounted up in there. So that's just one more thing to check off the list of that monstrous mountain of a list that we have on the wall there. So thanks for joining me today and I guess I will catch you guys again later.